guys, it's Lee, and I am back with a Dollar Tree haul for you today. This one is amazing. I was in Maryland for another reason, and while I was there, you know I had to stop at a couple of Dollar Trees. I also think some of this stuff is from a local store. I'll try to remember what's what. I went to two Dollar Trees in Towson, Maryland, the one by the Guitar Center and the other one was also on Joppa Road, East Joppa Road. I don't know the address, but just Google it if you're in the area. If you're in the area, you probably already know. I'm gonna start with the one item I always pick up, if they have it, when I'm in Maryland, and that is the Gossner Foods Shelf Stable Milk. This is one quart. I got the 1%. They also had 2% and whole, but I decided just to get the 1% this time. And I picked up four of those. And then at the other store, I found the unsweetened almond milk, which is super nice. I do not like the sweetened kind. So yeah, I picked up three of those. It'll take us a long time to get through that. So some of the stuff, I don't remember which store I found it in. I actually think this was a local store. I found these stuffed puffs classic milk chocolate filled marshmallows made with real milk chocolate. It's 8.6 ounce bag. I just picked up one. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I thought I'd grab one. And then I also found the Jet Puffed Marshmallows 10 ounce bags, the mini marshmallows. So I got two of those because I've been doing Rice Krispie Streets recipes here on my YouTube channel. And I'll leave the link to the playlist for those down in the description box below. I have a couple more coming up for the spring and Easter time frame, so make sure you go check them out. Next, I found, these were at a local store, the Olive Garden Signature Italian Single Serve Cups. This is really great for when you're on the go. So I grabbed two of these. The other one is in another bag. I'll find it eventually. Then I found these Caruso's Italian style sodas. I got the dark cream. These are for the kids to try. I don't drink this stuff. I got root beer. And I got vanilla cream. Oh, they're not all Italian. Wait a minute, what? That one was Italian style. This one's just root beer. Ah, oh, different brand. This one is WBC. See how much attention I pay to things. So I got the root beer and the cream soda. Those are craft sodas. I found the second one. Next I found the Global Brands Herbal Helpers Teas. And the first one is Detox Boost. These were made, I think they're made in Sri Lanka. And this one has turmeric, chai masala, rosehip, and hibiscus and green tea. So I got one of those and you get 20 tea bags. Then I picked up one of the Immunity Boost, which has coriander, ginger, cinnamon, clove, and green tea. Thought we could give those a try. And then I picked up a snack size bag of the, or a bag of the snack size Twizzlers Pull and Peel in Twisted Strawberry Blast. These are for the kids. Next, I found a few pairs of socks. This pair, they're men's, but they're for me. Um, they are Juncture socks, and they have two cans on them. And they're really pretty, like, aqua color. Then I found these pink and aqua ones with a shark on them. Also for me. Then I found Dachshunds. Whoops. By Juncture as well. They're all by Juncture. And those are for me. And then for the boys, I got them each a pair of these with game controllers. So, one each of those for my boys. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, it's allergy season. I picked up this pill organizer, it's a seven day one, and this is because I've been taking more vitamins, and then at night some melatonin, so I thought I would just use this I don't know, to make sure I take them actually. If I fill it up, then I'll know if I took them on Monday or Tuesday because sometimes I forget. I'm getting old. <laughs> so 
So just quickly, I wanted to show you what this pill organizer is like. So this is how it comes. You open it up and each day is individual. I think that's kind of cool. So you can take it with you if you have to go out for the day. So I just wanted to show it to you because I think it's pretty neat. Next, I found these compostable straws made from plants, eco-friendly, BPA-free, 100 straws. Um, yeah, it says these are not traditional plastic straws. You get 100 in the pack, so I grabbed one to try them out. Next, I just got some lens wipes to throw in my purse for my glasses. My glasses are always dirty. I mean, it's because I take them off all the time. My vision isn't that bad, but I need them to drive. So when I'm at home, I'm constantly flipping them up on top of my head because I don't need them for close up and they're filthy all the time. So I'm gonna put those in my purse. I grabbed this water sprayer or spray bottle. I'm using it for water because we have lizards and I like to spray them down or you're supposed to. I picked up this dog toy puzzle, dog treat puzzle. I've seen it a lot and I don't know what made me want to get it, but I'm going to get it. Oops. And see, I don't think the Chihuahuas will play with it, but Ollie might. So I'm going to see, I'm going to break up some of his treats and put them in there. See what happens. Ollie is a greyhound for those of you who are new here. I found these Scotty's tissues. They are triple soft with soothing aloe. And like I said, it is allergy season. So these will come in handy. You get 54 tissues in a box. I think the box is pretty, even though I have a, a basket that I put my tissues in, I still pick up the pretty boxes. So I got that one and this design. And I actually got one more, but it's already in the tissue holder. So I don't know, I don't remember what it looked like. I got three of these planter trolleys, they're calling them. They are just, they're stuck together. They just have wheels on them so that it's easier to move heavy pots around. And I bought the three plastic terracotta pots that I'm hoping will fit in here. We'll see. If not, I'm sure I can use this for something. I missed this when I was doing the food. I got one pack of the Champion Jumbo Raisin Medley. They had two packs and I was going to buy both of them, but one of them had something gooey all over it. So... I just bought one. Uh, my husband likes these and they're kind of hard to find. I was checking the expiration date. They're good until June 4th. I picked this up by the register and then I realized it needs three AA, AAA batteries. So, wow, that's a lot of batteries. So I, I don't know, I might try it out. I didn't really pay attention. I thought it was cool. It looked pretty. That's what caught my attention. And um, yeah. I might try that out. It came in other colors, but I picked pink, of course. On my last video, I hauled the mask holders and some masks, and someone commented that um, they remember when Dollar Tree sold the packs of 10 masks, um, in the, and then someone else said, like, the Assured brand. Look what I found. I don't know if they found these in the back somewhere. I don't know. But I got one. I got it. There was the one, so I picked it up. Um, I don't know what... Oh yeah, they're fine. They're all right. I was thinking if nothing else, I could use them under my other masks, you know, to make it a little better. But yeah, they seem fine. So look what I found. Now, I don't know if they're coming back out in the stores or, you know, they were doing inventory or something and it just showed up. No clue. The only Easter related items I picked up were two little tins. Look at this one. It is so cute. It's just a tin. I might use it to send stuff to my daughter in. So I got this one and then this one. Super cute. I forgot to show you the sides. Lots of flowers, more little bunny faces. Adorable. And they had one that was just like a little bunny butt with a little cotton tail, but I like these the best. Will they stand up? Maybe. <laughs> the next item I found, I was really surprised by. I found this in the 
store um, in Maryland, not the one by the Guitar Center, the other one on East Joppa Road. Look, these are as seen on TV, copperware elbow sleeves. They only had size large. Um, I don't know if it'll fit, but I picked up two. I do have an issue with my elbow, because like I said before, I'm getting old. So <laughs> I picked up two of these to try out. I figured they would fit me or my husband, maybe. It's the only size they had I looked through just to check. They had a ton of them too. So if you want these and you live in the area, head over there. I mean, they had like 50, I bet. I thought I should take this out and show you what it looks like. Kind of looks like a sock and it says in here that is this is a this is a compression sleeve which I forgot to mention it's not a brace and then it comes with this little booklet they also I would love to find some of these items as well at the Dollar Tree I mean so anyway I just wanted to show you what was inside this box then I picked up these Crafter Square tie-dye kits, I guess you call them. I've seen these a lot and I decided to go ahead and pick them up to add to my stash. Someday I will try some tie-dye. I did the bleach tie-dyeing, which I will leave linked below, but I think it would be fun to do actual tie-dyeing as well. So I got this one in pink. I got red. I got blue, oh that's turquoise, excuse me, and that says red but clearly it is green. <laughs> so anyway, if you've tried these, let me know how they work out for you or if you have any tips and tricks on, you know, making it work better. Got to find room because the next bag is full of so much goodness. Oops, hold on. I have one more thing that I found at the, I keep saying East Joppa Road. It's the one that's not by Guitar Center. I found these. They had one pack. I've seen so many people haul them. They are so pretty, but I was able to find this one pack. And when I went to the register, the lady checking me out said, ah, you got the last one. I saw it hanging there this morning. So I got the last one. All right. So the rest of this stuff all comes from the one by Guitar Center. I found these retractable erasers, not that exciting, but kind of cool. I picked up one in pink and one in green. Those are nice to have on hand. I found some Westcott. These are seven inch scissors and it says they're medium and they're glittery. So I picked up the blue. Can you see the glitter? That is like, I love that color blue. I picked up the blue. And yes, I do need scissors. <laughs> the green. The purple. And the red. Or pink. In this light, it's pink. In the store, I thought it was red. But I'm going with pink. Like a dark pink. So I got those. And now with the rest of this stuff, it's all stickers. Um, and you know, if you've been here for a while, that I'm trying really hard not to buy a bunch of stickers, right? Well, when you see what I found, you'll understand why. But also keep in mind that I was restraining myself. I could have gotten or did want to get so many more, but I stopped myself. So, oh, these are so good. They also had so many die cuts like wooden die cuts. I took pictures, hopefully they turned out, they were up super high, so I was trying to, you know, reach up high to get pictures of them. Those will be at the end of the video. I don't really craft, do that kind of crafting, so I don't need the die cuts, but they had so many. First thing I found were glass stickers. I don't really know how well they work. If you've found them and tried them, let me know. I don't know if they're permanent. It says magic on. Oh, it says four piece. <gasps> I didn't even know there were four in this one. All right, well, there are four in this one. 
I liked it because of the butterfly. Oh, I see. One, two, three, four. I'm an idiot. Got it. Four piece. There you go. So I got actually two of those. And then I picked one of this because I really like sugar skulls. So I thought that was really neat. I have so many of the sugar skull glasses. You know, these from Dollar Tree. I thought that would fit right in. Next, I found these glass stickers. And these go on mason jars or will fit on mason jars. I love that design. Did I only get one of those? No, I bought two. Two of those. I bought one with the seashells. One of this design. I'm thinking if you make gifts, like if you want to make gifts in a jar and give them to somebody, oh my gosh, that would be so cool. And then this I bought two of because I just loved it. That is so gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? So I got those. And then I picked up these stickers. These are pop-up stickers. I got the feathers. They also had some koalas that were so cute, but I talked myself out of them. So I did not get the koalas, but I got the feathers. The dragonflies. So pretty and sparkly. The critters. And you know I had to get this one. And I searched to see if there were dogs, I mean cats, but nope. I got that. I only bought one of each. I'm, I'm amazed at my uh, restraint. And then I picked up one pack of these because, you know, I had to. Look at the little chihuahua. Mine are long haired, but still own the little pug and the dachshund and they're all so cute. Look at that. I got that. If it had a greyhound on there, I'd have picked up a bunch of them. Then I thought these were beautiful. These came in a lot of different designs. Isn't that gorgeous? And they came in, um, now I think these only came in gold, but they had some in silver and like a rose gold, coppery color. And then I picked up the instruments, and that was just for the guitar. That's the only reason I wanted it, but still, they're super cool. Aren't they amazing? All right, so that's everything, which I think is quite a bit <laughs> that I found at three Dollar Trees, two in Maryland, one here in PA. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff for me, and you don't know, well, that's not true. A lot of you sticker enthusiasts, I'm not going to say addicts because that would be rude, sticker enthusiasts understand the pain I was in leaving behind so many cool stickers, but I had to remember that I can't use all these stickers. That was still hard for me, but I didn't get, I didn't get all of them. I would have had a stack this high, this high, you can't see my hand. If you're in Towson and you love stickers, go to that store. It's amazing. And the die cuts, really cool. I hope the pictures turned out. So that being said, <laughs> right now I have some pictures to show you of items I saw at all three stores that I thought you might be interested in seeing. So check those out and meet me right back here. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed those pictures and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, 
make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell. It's totally free, and that way you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.